to us With our mouth bridging and collide such and guess it's all Jeez, anticipation. Shiver with anticipation. It, it, w- it would have been better if we all had said it. Yeah, but nobody did. Well, we didn't time it right. Uh, you saw when I was going to say it. Yeah. I widened my eyes yeah, at you. Yeah, and that you was, was my fault. Like, all right. See. It I was my see. fault. I don't know what, what, I don't know what <laughs> happened. Yeah, Al doesn't even get the reference, so... <laughs> That's, true. That's true. He's never. There's not a oh, chance. I missed He's it. I missed Rocky the reference. Arts. Confusion. Doctor Hammond, the Raptors are fully functional. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that book. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Oh my God, Frankenfurter in Jurassic Park. I know. We're just retreading the. Uh, it's the, just a retread so of Frank the Edward Scissorhands. So Frankenfurter in Robocop. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Although the idea of putting Doctor Frankenfurter in other movies is very funny. Yeah. It is. It really is. But yeah, it, it was literally the exact same idea. Oh, I don't know. I would love to see him in seven. <laughs> Which role? <laughs> How do you do it? What's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> What's like, in the box? <laughs> I like how you have to do the how you do it to get the voice going. <laughs> That's my way in. It's the starter. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, Nikolai, but uh, the the best part of the song is isn't the the uh, the hit it? What what is it? <laughs> Hold on. So we're in the car and I own the soundtrack. Okay. And we're singing this song and I tell it's like that this is the best that you know, everyone thinks that time warp is the best song from the the movie, and it's not. It's sweet transvestite, and he, he's like, "All right, I mean, it's good," and I was like, "No, it's, it's great." No <laughs> and for one reason and one reason only, because you get to go hit it, hit it, <laughs> dude. He it hit makes it. me so happy. He, he hit it, hit it so hard when he when it came up in that uh, that ride. Oh, I did it so loud that our ears rang. It was great. Oh, oh it, was, it was so good. Some loud hit it. <laughs> Just hit it, hit it. it was... Oh, man, I punched it as hard as I could. You got to go hard, man. If you're I, oh, yeah, <laughs> there's that's one of the best parts about like uh, road trips or back before social distancing was uh, just singing like in a car, like a long car ride, jamming out with your uh, your buds. Oh yeah, um, that was great. I love when we uh, we go to Boston and sing the Bud songs. <laughs> All the yeah, Bud songs. The Bud songs. The Bud songs. <laughs> hey man, I it brought sounds the, a lot uh, like Bud. I brought my Bud songs playlist. Oh nice. Now that's Bud songs. <laughs> Two thousand fourteen. Now is it is it songs that make you move your butt? Is that what the songs would be on there? No, Bud. Songs of Bud. B U D like, like, like Buddy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Bud you can wow. see the Jeez, confusion. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> oh, golly. So well, there's songs that's to the make sexy you, uh, midnight version. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the ride home version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they are uh, songs that make you think of uh, good times with your bros. Yeah, basically, you, and you get started, right. and like each song has like a chorus, <laughs> yeah, well, where yeah, like it's yeah. like two random guys. So like if you're traveling maybe with just one guy, then it sounds like there's four guys traveling. Got all your buds. Oh wait, so this isn't a okay. These aren't real Hold songs. On. <laughs> no, they're real. <laughs> I thought these were real. No, songs. they're real songs. What did I sign up for? No, they're real songs, yeah. but we have a small tr- track of people helping. Uh, sorry, <laughs> what, Matt? I, I think if I'm understanding Al's vision correctly, which oh. I believe I am, is that Al is saying we take regular songs and then we interlace audio of two random buds having a conversation over said music so that when you play it in a car on a ride, it feels like you've got buds with you. Yes, but correct? the buds are singing. The buds are singing. Yeah. Well, well they're singing everything. Yeah, but like it's a lower volume, so it's like they're in the back. So it's like kids bop, but your buds. No, but the real lyrics are still there. Buds bop. 
It's the real so lyrics. So they're just singing along like they would be in the background of a... a, a of, yeah, like they, if, they come like in Like if everybody the in the course. car was singing this song, this is what it would sound like because yeah. you're hanging out with Todd and Murray. Yeah, so, <laughs> it's, so it's just them singing? Yeah, but but you also get the... Li- they just do the chorus. Oh. And they're, <laughs> they only know choruses. Oh. <laughs> That's all I know is choruses. They don't okay. know it. Okay. But you still get the artist singing it, but they're in, like low in the background. Right. So he get like pumped up. So they just fade in when the chorus comes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just just these two buds well, singing the chorus. Yeah. They only know the chorus. <laughs> I'll be honest, Al. That <laughs> is Sounds... fucking genius. Oh, and you should not you, have man. told us without getting a patent. Oh, yeah. no. You're stealing it now. Dude. That's my property now. Oh, oh, shit. oh no. It's well, best my of, best IP. of luck. Yeah. Thanks. What do you what? call them? What the buds? Yeah, I already said Todd and Murray. No, 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 like uh, <laughs> bud, bud cordings, bud boardings, bud cordings, no, bud, cordings. bud music, like rec- bud music. Okay, bud music, bud music. I like bud music. My label. You want to run it? Um, sure. Okay. Oh, there's um. Oh, I I've want in. You music. stole this idea originally from one Al Chest breach. I now not. that you own it. Nope. Yep. No, I didn't. We're going to settle out of court for $50 million. Congratulations, oh Al. I'm back on your side. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is... I have $50 million <laughs> to give away? It's in, the, it's in that no. bean bag. <laughs> just... oh. What? Oh. I've been sleeping the on files money. files are inside the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? They just... They filled it like with someone was transporting money and this one fell off the truck (laughs) and you got it. (laughs) Well, first of all, the beanbag would be so much heavier. Oh, so much heavier. (laughs) Is that much, that much money? That would be like, like way more than 10 grand. No, dude. Do you know how light money is? Have you felt a dollar? (laughs) Disgust. That's like one of those pallets from Brewster's Millions. <laughs> it really would be. It would be one of those pallets from Brewster's Millions. Oh. Man, now that's an American classic. <laughs> Try to it. lug that fucking giant that's thing it. And money upstairs. It's fucking 700 pounds. Oh my god. <laughs> like, oh boy, I hope... I- I hope nothing else could be in this. <laughs> I really yeah. love beanbag chairs. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Um, for anyone unaware, I ha- like I'm pretty sure we've talked about it plenty of times. But in the podcasting room, there's a giant like adult sized beanbag chair. It's like uh, one of those. And that's love what Sage sleeps on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's what no, that you called it a love sack. That's what Sage sleeps on during yeah. the weekends. Love sack. Love sack. Yeah, it envelops you. It's about what standing on its end, about four feet tall, about four feet wide. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's yeah. it's pretty fucking it's a nasty. hefty little bitch. Hefty baby. Well, <laughs> there's no way to talk about my prom date. Okay. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> See, that's so weird. That's what my prom date called me. <laughs> <laughs> hefty little bitch. <laughs> That's what Al's mom calls him after Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> oh, let me get you upstairs. Stop, stop, stop wiggling. My mom just calls me a bitch. Oh, oh no. <laughs> but it's mean. No. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, bitch. <laughs> oh. Hello, mother. mother. <laughs> I feel like this relationship is soured. She called me, hey, haven't you... heard from you in a while. You're a bitch. Bye. I'm like, what? Just want to remind you. <laughs> oh, God. The, the funny cry. thing is, the funny thing is, I both know that your mother would never, ever do that, and that she is fully capable of doing that <laughs> at yeah. the same time. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> Unprompted, she would not do that, but prompted, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what was I going to ask? Have you, do you guys know anyone who calls their mother, their mom, mother? Oh, mother. Like, could mother. There be, mother. Could um, there be a more creepy thing yeah, yeah. Than, than someone who calls their mom, mother? Mother. 
Oh, well, first you, of all, for some reason, everyone has done it in a British accent. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> except for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why it's specifically British. <laughs> like, it, it, like that's a posh just, that's one, just what it goes to. I'm, I, like, I, I guess. It sounds, well, mother is... Uh, your, uh, your respect in your mom. Mother. It sounds way more creepy when I say it without a British accent. Mother. Well, Here's why Mother, mother where's the milk? Mother... <laughs> Mother wouldn't Don't like that. Not, isn't that what Danzig? I like that song. Yeah. Mother. Mother. Yeah. <laughs> I figured out why everybody goes to classic uh, to to uh, British. Okay. Because mother is considered like the proper form of mom, which is what everybody uses as their vernacular. Okay. And when you go proper, you go classic, and when you go classic, you go British. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> I guess I get that. Mother. <laughs> Still, that is like, if there's ever an indicator of someone's being a serial killer, the usage of the word mother is like one of my early check marks. I own this ranch with my mother. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking about her later. She's Nikolai like right solving now. mysteries. <laughs> like when he meets someone, he's like, oh my God. This guy, this guy mother. probably killed someone. He calls people mother. Oh, <laughs> just random people. Apparently what I just said. <laughs> that, that would be even crazier. Yeah, that instead would definitely of like, be a sign. Could you imagine? Could you, instead of like, you know how like some Latin guys <clears throat> will, will call like women mommy. Mm. You could just like a white guy. And like, hey, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Looking good today, mother. Oh, yeah. Oh, like those yoga pants, mother. <laughs> you know what, though? I think it works in the context if there's a bad relationship. Hello, mother. Oh, oh yeah. My. Okay. Hello, mother. Yep. Yeah. It's the tone. Or when talk. Oh, oh, sorry. What were you saying? No, it's just the tone. That's. That, that's what yeah, makes true. It it's a it's it is a negative sounding tone. Yeah. Unless you're talking about somebody else's. Mm. Because I would feel comfortable asking you about your mom. Like, yeah. But how's your mother? How's your mother? How dare you? That How sound dare you? Did your I, mother I feel okay after the incident with the cans? Oh. oh. Since the cans. You're what gonna happened just bring to the it cans? Up. I need to know. <laughs> the gasoline cans. What? What? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know if you realize that that's the what you threw out there. I was I was very shocked <laughs> at the revelation you that said, there was you a story so involving sh- someone's mother and gasoline cans. You, you yeah. were immediately little John shocked. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, well, I go from zero to sixty real fast. <laughs> Mad shocked me. Sometimes I'll be gone and then I'll catch something and I'll be right back in. <laughs> I, I think like uh Matt's shocked meter, like all right, so sixty we've established is Lil John. What would like forty or twenty be? Because I feel as if a hundred would be Yenta. Like she turned into an old Jewish woman, like, oh boy, what are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, on the on the, what the surprise like or? the Matt surprised or yeah the surprise scale the surprise scale no I think one hundred is outright like crying out of surprise no oh, okay yeah. I think that would be like just, ah! 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 I don't like it I was just so like terrified by the surprise are you yeah. terrified I thought you're like overjoyed. No, it's just surprise. I'll be honest. There's not. <laughs> Joy scares me. <laughs> there's not a ton outside of what I'll do on the show for comedic value that shocks me. Like outright, you know. Like I'll get surprised by something, but I would never. Like for something <laughs> to really fucking shock me to a hundred percent or surprise me to a hundred percent, we're talking aliens, baby. <laughs> Uh, All right. Oh, baby. I, right. I hear what you're saying. Um, Matt, oh, imagine this. What? You come home, and you open the mm-hmm. door, and you walk okay. inside, and there's a camera crew, and they say, congratulations, Matthew. You own this entire uh, neighborhood, and a neighborhood in Massapequa. Here's 
Congratulations. I own I own two neighborhoods? Yes. <laughs> How surprised oh are God. you? How? How, how, how surprised are you? <laughs> how far have we fallen that everyone above me for this position has gotten eliminated? <laughs> what a treat we've got in what store a, for you. <laughs> weird. How does one own a neighborhood? <laughs> what a weird <laughs> question that would be to ask. How surprised are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, That's pretty. pretty. Number one, mainly at the revelation that people can own entire neighborhoods. <laughs> so, like, every house is his? If, yeah. If somebody said that to me after, like, revealing all that, I'd be automatically just be like, oh, this is fake. Why would you want to know how yeah. surprised I am? This is fake. Get out of my face. All right. Yeah. The host I own doesn't nothing. ask you that. Where's my mother? <laughs> mother, mother? What is this? She's mother? like, I don't know. These crazy people broke in and told me that you won neighborhoods. <laughs> Go be the man you were born to be. <laughs> Owen Massapequa. <laughs> no, no, just one neighborhood in there. Yeah, just one. It's, yeah. It's ascend to the family's dream of owning Massapequa. <laughs> All of it. How far is a neighborhood? Just uh, as long as it's like uh, where it gets cut off by an intersection. I mean, if you live in Manhattan, a neighborhood so a is your block. Yeah, so a block. Right. Yeah, when you live in the city, a neighborhood is the blo- is your block. But when like when you talk about the su- the burbs, like Massapequa, <laughs> I just like saying it like that. Um, when you talk about the burbs, I mean, a neighborhood is like kind of like I guess your. Uh, elementary school area would be a neighborhood well they didn't get they all right then it was a block is what the host meant to say i own a block you you own two two blocks that's not i own two blocks worth of houses yeah all right now it just sounds like he owns it in like the gang violence type of way (laughs) like he's cool with like he's earning off the street (laughs) hell yeah i know I don't know. He's a flying Matt seems for it. <laughs> Protection. Are you, are you, I'm going to run it. <laughs> I'm turning them all into trap houses. What's, oh, your, what's okay. your neighborhood? I don't know what that is. What's it's your... just something I've heard referenced in rap songs. No. Oh, and I want to be cool. So they all just booby trapped? <laughs> no. Yes. No, Are they all home no. alone. Booby trap backwards is party boob. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> all booby oh, trap man. backwards is party boob. I mean, oh my God. I mean, I can't That's spell, amazing. but I'm gonna have so, to uh, just, legit. Yeah, I'll just <laughs> I'll just go along. <laughs> Where did you see that? Reddit. Okay. How <laughs> hard days is... back, I was like, I gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta throw this out. How often do I hear the words booby trap in everyday conversation That's and get true. to make the joke on it? It's, it's Credit true. goes to some guy on Reddit. Search booby trap. <laughs> You'll find it. <laughs> and that oh, goes man. to some guy. <laughs> hey, uh, out there somewhere. Some guy. Thank you so much. Yeah. Or gal. You're you're changing lives. Or it could be a non-binary person. So some being on the internet. (laughs) What are you even doing, man? (laughs) Fisted you off. Flirting is insane. I love that so much. You can use what, he in the pajamas. What, what are you even doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It's just so much disdain. Oh my god! <laughs> With your bullshit inclusivity. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Shit. Right. Oh, jeez, Louise. Welcome to RLF. Welcome to RLF. Oh, dude, RLF. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> it was a long walk, but we got there. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> we we played uh, Hat hopscotch. Hat <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that so much. 
Man. Okay. Rocky Horror Picture Show is a fucking classic, man. It's such a, it's like, it's such a great show. It's such a great movie. It really is. <laughs> I just love that you chose to, <laughs> like, that, the, the, you were just like, yes, this is the, this is what I want to grab onto from this. <laughs> it's just, I love little shit like that in songs. Um, I mean, if you watch well, the movie, I, he, he hits it hard, too. He does. Yeah, it's part of it, too. Because he kicks the leg out and everything. But then, but then Nikolai just... Sweeps, sweeps the leg, Johnny. Yes. He, yeah, he took it to a new level. Put him in a body bag. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in a body bag. <sighs> oh, that's How the... How are you, uh, jo- That's the cake in a bag. Cake in a bag? Yeah, he, it's uh, easy to carry cake. Yeah, but then... Like the oh, icing you'll okay. get all on the yeah, bag. Yeah, like it all, yeah. But you st- it's still in the bag. Yo, put the cake in your pocket, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> One of the funniest things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> oh, what a great diner night that was. Um, <clears throat> whose birthday was that? Was that Matt's or Bill? Al's. Fuck. Bubba, gotcha. Been a long <laughs> time. <laughs> Bitch. It's been a long, long time. It I has been a long time. that name. I mean, what? <laughs> Obi Wan. Heard it. I've not heard that name. Ages. Jeez Louise, my nose is so itchy. Um, oh, uh-oh. tits. Uh oh. He's got the Rona. Don't even joke. The first sign is an itchy nose. That's not even a funny joke. Anyway, uh, whose birthday was it for the cake in the pocket? Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fine. All right. Fucking fine. But did, I don't, yeah. but did I don't s- remember David? the night. Maybe. I don't remember it either. Never. Really. Too much cake. Fine. Got Too cake much drunk. cake. You guys <laughs> all hopped up on the high fructose corn syrup. Speaking of cake, high I didn't eat any of that cake syrup. at Matt's at uh, Jim's wedding. I had some. It was good. I don't think anybody had cake. You had some, Sage? Yeah, dude. I don't remember good. it at all. Are you all right, Matt? You're just try- you giving me trying fucking to remember weird if faces. I ate the cake at Jim's wedding. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I was about to say, I was about to say the, uh, I was about to talk about how uh, when we all got our food, everybody at our table had ordered the the steak. Oh. <laughs> and you got like chicken, right? Which was fine. It was chicken. Yeah. Yeah, chicken. But chicken. We had filet mignon. Everybody, okay. Dude, the steak was, so, <coughs> yeah, that steak was right. so good too. Oh, so it was supposed to be on the when. All right, all right. Listen, <laughs> one of the big, <laughs> one of the biggest regrets. I was so angry that night. I didn't RSVP because I'm a piece of shit, um, and so I didn't say what meal I wanted, and. When Jim had texted me, he said prime rib. And I know that that's steak. But I was like, all right, I'm probably going to just play it safe and stick with the chicken. Because sometimes they really undercook prime rib. That, and I don't love that. that. And I didn't, and I don't love that. So I went with the chicken the night of at the wedding. I'm like, I've seen everybody get this just. The greatest cut of steak I've ever seen oh. at a wedding. Getting dropped on their tables. And I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, I, I ordered the steak, right? And I they're like, well, bit. we've got one. Sh- we got what? I came a little bit. I'll be honest. Whatever. Oh, my God. What? It was my suit. I can come in if I want. Jeez. I mean, geez. Are you rented it? No, no. It was your suit. It yeah, was dude, your I was suit. In, yeah. I it's his suit. He'll cry if he wants to. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, dude. <laughs> It's his suit. He'll jizz if he wants to. <laughs> yeah. cry, cry out my dick. Oh, oh wow. Wow. No dick tears. Makes, anyway, it, makes um, it real then. When you say it I, like that. That's what makes it real? It makes it real if you have the dick tears. <laughs> See? What, what R&B artist was that? Uh, I think that was R. Kelly. Oh, <laughs> that, 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 oh, like, yeah. that, that would be R. Kelly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dick tears volume one. Yeah. He was into some weird shit, man. <laughs> yes. But you gotta separate the art from the artist. I mm, Not always. Alright, Michael. Jackson. Ah, uh, not always. How good is the art? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> is he there? Wait, he's there. No, no, oh my no. God. no. No, no, no. 
It's okay. <laughs> no, it's, no, don't worry, guys. <laughs> no, 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 he's is not. That? Is that shares in the closet, but okay. that's it. Yeah. As per usual. Yeah. Anyway, um the 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 person serving the table shows up and she's she's like, Well, we've got one chicken and I was like, Oh, cool. All right. And then that was for me. And it, it had like roasted potatoes instead of the sweet, delicious mashed potatoes that you guys had. Mm-hmm. And then I had like a vegetable medley instead of like that awesome garlic asparagus thing garlic yeah. asparagus yeah, no, I she, fucked up no, fucked. no you didn't fuck up Jim fucked you up Jim wrote prime rib it's true it's true I'm taking chicken over prime rib too I don't mind that prime rib is undercooked I just find it's still not a great cut of meat personally it's not my favorite cut of the steak I just don't like it but filet mignon like oh whoo, if he had, if he that had said, shit you guys were cutting it with butter knives yeah. it looked Amazing. I was trying like to put butter on top. Rib wasn't working. Rib, uh, uh, filet mignon. <laughs> like, it was crazy. Slurp that shit through a straw. Yeah, slurp that butter down. Ugh. Ugh, that's gross. I don't want to think about meat as a liquid form. That's but gross. now that I know that full story, Do puree. that's not your fault. Okay. Puree. Hmm. That's Jim's fault. So are we going to beat him up? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it. All We're right. going to Boston to beat him up. <laughs> We're shipping up to Boston <laughs> to beat up Jim. Yeah, that's on that's on Bud Tunes. That song. That is <laughs> definitely on Bud Tunes. <laughs> From six feet away, <laughs> with social distancing. Yeah, I mean we're you not gonna a take clown cars. car. Yeah, we're not animals. Come on. <laughs> we're not that Nickelback yep. song, animals. Uh, don't <laughs> get <laughs> bring up we'll get Nickelback fake clown cars. <laughs> what was that, Matt? Al said something about clown cars. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Well, we need to be the opposite of clown cars. Yeah, I don't know why I keep a clown car. All right, a clown car with... um... No, it'd be like... It'd have to be like a limo. It's multiple different little cars. Or a limo. Yeah, a limo. So so we would have different... we're all driving our own tiny (laughs) cars. But they're connected with metal. So it's like... On the freeway to (laughs) Boston. Yeah, I feel like we will even, die. Yeah, yeah. I, feel like you would yeah. Die. I think we should just take our normal cars. You guys could take the bus. Oh. Although I do want to do that now and make a Mario Kart racetrack out of it. Oh my god! I I could ever fit in a clown car. <laughs> <laughs> I went on um <clears throat> one of those uh. You drive Porn like sucks. a... Uh, <laughs> por- yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Quarantine's been rough. Quarantine. That court, them quarantined scabs. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I like it hot. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. No. I don't know what it is. <laughs> and I don't want a lot of friction. Don't, don't define any. it. <laughs> I don't want to know any of it. <laughs> If you don't define it in my head, it can be porridge. <laughs> uh, I went on, you you rent, like, um, <clears throat> I was in San Francisco, and you rent, like, like a little tricycle thing, I guess, but it's, it's like a mini car, essentially, and you just, you could follow this GPS thing that, and it gives you a guided tour of the city, and while we were given the safety course... The guy behind the counter <clears throat> um, <clears throat> made a joke. When, uh, yeah, the guy behind the counter. No, my girlfriend at the time made a joke about doing like a Mario Kart thing. And the guy behind the counter was like, well, you joke. But a few years ago for Halloween, a couple of people dressed up like the fucking characters and and actually did do that and got in like a lot of trouble and shit. Like they were throwing stuff at each other, and they recorded it for the like the internet. I think I don't know. I've never actually Disney, followed like up Mickey on Mickey Mouse it. beat him up or something. Could you imagine? I don't know. It would be Disney, isn't it? Yeah, why would it be Disney? Yeah. Well, you never know. But Disney, yeah, Disney, beat people up. Disney just they just own everything. Any <laughs> entertainment that's fraudulently used, but not by China, they beat them up. Because <laughs> China, you can do whatever you want there, right? Yeah, they got. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, getting nothing. I got hover hats. What? Mm-hmm. Wow. What? What's a hover hat? Though? It's a big blade a above hats. your head, and then you can like 
fly around and hover. Oh, so it's super dangerous. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, God, you're suspended by a contraption <laughs> on top of your head? Yeah, a blade, a giant blade. Okay. How does it hold to the rest of your body? A strap, I yeah, guess. A strap, yeah, on your neck and then, like, a little bit. <laughs> you're just, oh, God! <laughs> you're being flown <laughs> through the city! <laughs> By, with your body your weight being supported only by your neck. <laughs> well, maybe there's handles. <laughs> well, if you get, get a, like, taller. a luxury version. Well, yeah, well, I wouldn't be a hat if it was handles, though. Yeah, you're, you so have you're talking die. about the <laughs> Inspector Gadget hat. <laughs> yeah, is that, is that what you had in mind, Al? No, but... <laughs> but that works. It's less, it's less gray. <laughs> Man, I've been watching cartoons. Yeah? Oh, man, I've been watching cartoons. What you been watching? I'll get into that later. Oh, How did what right. he say made you think of that? Yeah, he inspected Gadget. Got it. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what cartoons you been watching, No, I'll get into that. Uh, for later? Yeah, get into that later. All right, it's for later. Oh, okay. W- what's for now, then? <laughs> Comments? Uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't fuck, I don't run no, the show. I, I just I just You the fucking sex run appeal. the show. I just provide the sex appeal. That's it. You're the man behind the curtain, Seitch. Yeah. Pay no attention to me. The videos on YouTube have a place called the comment section where people can type out how it felt and thoughtful reflections of the videos they just watched. Like here at our left on Wednesdays Now the gang will read a few It's really hard to rhyme the word Wednesdays Was it Return to Oz? The sequel to that? Is that uh, with, um, I always forget. With uh, James Franco? No, no, no Like the uh, Shit, what's her face? The, the, the chick Man okay. Oh, a chick <laughs> Vicky Valancourt Oh Oh my God! What's her name? Uh, from uh, from uh, the the craft. craft. Yeah. God. Yeah. I see. I don't know if anybody else would. I have never heard of Return to Oz. I'm very familiar with that actress. But just clearly, uh, her name. There's like these they, people, and they like go, up, they like roller skate around, and they're like creepy as hell. Just that whole movie yeah. is just weird. Just weird. Not good, but it's weird. <laughs> Names, Feruza Balk. Okay. Mm. Veruca Sol. You made that up. No. <laughs> Feruza Balk. Feruza uh, Balk. That, that's her stage name? But, Daddy. Uh, yeah. I want it now. Could you imagine if now. her name was worse than that and then she changed it to that? <laughs> <laughs> she made her theatrical fume debut as Dorothy Gale. All right. Ooh. That, I mean, knowing what she looks like, Feruza Balk is much more appropriate for her face. And that, more importantly, that mouth, because she's got a very large mouth. Um, but Dorothy Gale, that just, that sounds like she's trying, like, that might as well have named her Jane Doe. No, that's the name of the character. Oh, well, thank, jeez, I'm making an ass of myself. Thinking <laughs> that, that was her stage name, Matt. Well, what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you knew Return to Oz, no, Dorothy. I had absolutely no idea. <laughs> I'm just sitting here <laughs> blabbering on. No, she's always been known as Feruza Balk, except for her, her, that's not her real name. So her real name's Feruza Feldhouse. It oh, was wow. worse. <laughs> 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 Unknown Captain says, I feel like learning that Seich lost a fight to Paltry was a curveball. He got attacked by a goose. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was a kid. Yeah. Fuck you off of me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any um like residual side effects from that? Like when you see a goose getting all wound up in the parking nah. lot at work. Nah. Like, I, I mean the, I, out of here. the only the only thing that has stuck with me bird related is fucking seagulls. They just won't stop That's shitting true. on me. You do me. want to fuck a lot of seagulls. I don't know if it's the hat, How maybe. How often are you getting shitted on by seagulls? Not so much anymore, but like when we went to go to the beach when we were kids, I'd get shit on. I feel like a lot. It happened at least. It happened two, at least three, three times. times. I remember at least two or three separate occasions. Damn. So it's summer. Yeah. 
And one of them. No, we had to beat in the winter. <laughs> 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 That was the bitchiest sight she's ever been. Right there. No, we were at the beach in the fucking winter. What? <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, no. It was the, uh, I've been to the beach in winter. That's where I feed the seagulls. Are there seagulls? I don't they feel like there's not seagulls. Pretty there sure they're not there. I don't know. I've been there, man. I got pictures. Well, then what am I feeding? <laughs> <laughs> who who, do, dun, who dun, am I dun, feeding? Dun, dun. <laughs> I just covered myself um, in feathers to get free food. Oh. Look at that <laughs> giant seagull. <laughs> and there's one giant seagull at the beach. It looked hurt. It sounds like a large chicken. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of us can make seagull noises. I don't even, yeah. Fuck seagulls. <laughs> Like a dolphin. No. Kind of like a dolphin. No, that sounded, that sounded like an old lady that fell in the shower. <laughs> Help. Help. Everybody. I've fallen and I can't get up. Um, If memory serves correctly, Sige, the first time you got shat on by a seagull, which is just a funny word, shat, um, you, you got you right in the, the old uh, noggin, right? Yeah. Yeah, I remember yeah. getting sh- one was the head. I think one was like the shoulder, and the other one's like on the leg. I think. Yep. 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 Yeah. I, I like that you remember them like they were bullet wounds. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you still feel it. I think the shoulder one was probably the funniest because we had just gotten out of the car, and we were doing that thing where you're you're distributing the. Uh, the cooler, the towels, the like the be- different bags of stuff to be carried. And he had been out of the car for under 10 seconds and just plop, just got shit on like immediately. We were like, what a terrible start to the day. Yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't think I've ever been shat on by a bird. Really? I don't think I've ever been shat on by a bird. I have been attacked by a bird. I was holding a hot dog. You were dead. I wouldn't let that son of a bitch go. Did you win or lose? I mean, it went away, but it like pecked at me, and I was I was not happy with birds for a while. <laughs> what was it? What kind of bird? It was a seagull. Where were you? Uh, Jones Beach. Huh. And you had a hot dog, and it was coming at you. Yeah, it like swooped down. And I was I was younger. I was there with my sister. Yeah, yeah. you ain't getting this like, hot dog. Swooped down near us, <laughs> and I was eating fries, and it swooped down, and it started like going towards my hot dog and I grabbed for it and then it snapped at me oh. and I fucking swatted it and it flew off. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> Victorious, man. So that shaped me. So I don't like birds. All birds. <laughs> All birds. Birds aren't what? real. I don't think. Oh, wow, you were fighting. Together. I don't know what you are fighting then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it was a robot. Wow. Um... <clears throat> But that's why I don't like birds. That makes and sense. And I don't like escalators because one time when I was on an escalator, mm-hmm. my shoelace got caught and I was young oh, you got and shit. my brother was trying to get the shoelace out Yeah, and he couldn't and he started panicking because he was only like... He was like 27 at the time. <laughs> no, this is when I was like really young. Uh, I was like I was like three or four. Oh, uh, so he was like Why do you have eighteen. Laces? Yeah, I'll crow that shit. And he started like panicking. Yeah, which made me panic. panic. Yeah. And then like he just ripped me out of my shoe, and I remember him like trying to untie the rest of it to get it off, and finally like he got me out, and then it got to the end, and the shoelace just went like beneath the thing yeah. and the shoe was fine yeah. i would have been fine yeah but i still remember like the panic like in his voice like <laughs> he's fucking stuck and i can't get him out oh right. god oh <laughs> so, god you're like, oh no no dude if, if- yeah, oh yeah so i'm like i am not old enough to grasp the danger i am in <laughs> but but i know the it's person here. who's in charge Sound scared. <laughs> You're like, see, oh my. If if the shoe had your weight in there, then you would have gotten taken under. That's how it works. Uh, like they had, probably they had, not. They had to get you I'm out assuming. to get the weight out, and then the shoe just went whoop, 
and then go under. It's how it works, dude. Science. I've seen I'm it happen a million sure times. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I would have been fine. No, dude, but come. then you see, I've seen videos of people just on regular ass escalators that get to the top and the fucking thing collapses yeah. inward and they get sucked into the gears and die. Yeah. Like, what, so, yeah. no, I'm not crazy. Escalators are fucking scary, That's man. That's why you hop so you don't over use that them? last part every No, time. of course I use them. Oh, you gotta okay. be on your toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready to jump. I'm not, I'm not using the stairs. <laughs> Literally. Every time Matt gets on an escalator, he's got to roll a duct tape with him just for his shoes. <laughs> Put some bitches around his laces. All wrapped up. The whole time he's on there, he's just doing that high knees. Like, I like to keep loose. Like to keep loose. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta like get ready, you know. Just and then you leap at the end. I know the answer to the question already for Matt, but are you any of you escalator walkers? Like, will you also walk? Uh, while on the yeah, yeah. If there's space, I, you're I don't, asking for I don't death, pass man. Any, <laughs> I, I, you're asking to die. You're playing a dangerous game. I feel I, like I a superhuman. Of course, I walk when I'm going. Like, if there's no, if there's that's like, the rule. Yeah, if there's, I'm not like, oh, well, screw me. No, they can pass. I mean, you let them. But then you're just the right. awkwardly standing no, like some... eye level with someone's asshole for no reason. Well, no, you get yeah, like, no, no, space. No, space. You, no, you yeah. get in there. <laughs> no, you establish, you establish <laughs> dominance on Fucking that escalator. Hey, I'm your new Dare friend. Dare at that chocolate starfish. <laughs> <laughs> you ever listen to Limp Biscuit? <laughs> <laughs> You know, because that's what you talk about with assholes. Yeah. Yeah. It's not made to make walking faster. It's made to do the walking for you. I Yeah, but disagree. if I gotta get someplace. No, you get them faster. Get the fuck out of my way. Faster. <laughs> no, faster ones are level. If they're... That's now, why they both. have them in the airport. Both. N- now, now, Nikolai. Yes. If they have an escalator... Uh, and then stairs right next to the escalator. Which one do you take? How many stairs? Ah, oh, man. Because if it's like a flight of stairs, I'm still taking the escalator. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's one at one stop uh, that's like where you, where you have to transfer sometimes. Oh, yeah. You go, if yes. you, you take the stairs, it's like. 10 fucking flights like it's a shit ton but that es- really escalator is always Jeez. packed so i'm like nah dude don't Pack take my the- chances Mm-mm, take them if stairs. i eat shit going down i'll just get down faster Whee. that's true see stuff like that scare me because it's like man if i eat shit right now like those stairs from the joker movie that everyone started taking pictures in front of mm. in the bronx man i would love to know how many hipsters got mugged because oh, that yeah. is not a good neighborhood <laughs> That I is think not a good just... neighborhood. Because I know there were pictures of people taking pictures. It's like a lot of them. Yeah, but you also know there's probably plenty of stupid people who went there when it was dark. Yeah, yep. that's true. I know, I know. like, in the early days, people were getting egged for hanging out there. Oh, like, right, yeah, I believe it. Shit. But yeah, all I'm dude. talking about is you get, you get one group of hipsters who are like, no, Carol, it'll be fine. It's dusk. <laughs> yeah. And they get there and they're like, boy, we spent more time on that train than I expected. <laughs> My legs sure hurt from not being able to sit down. Let's get these, let's get these pictures for the gram. And then, uh, you know, and realize <laughs> it's almost 11. <laughs> I'm Joaquin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They definitely sounded like 90 year old hipsters. The gram. They really I'll did. The, <laughs> let me get these Meanwhile, pictures for, for the, the most gram. part. Anyone who was a hipster is our age. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are hipsters even a thing anymore? Like, yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess <clears throat> they're around. I don't know if they've evolved into something more than a hipster. I'm sure there's. Some <laughs> that was one of my favorite um, segments from At Midnight back when that show was used to be on with uh, Chris Hardwick. They would do um, hipster transformations or something like that. I, I don't know what they would call it. But anyway, they would go and they'd find like some picture of a guy who's got like some ridiculous mustache and, you know, the whole 1920s jaunty outfit. And then they would look at his like Facebook and they would like four years earlier, he was a full blown Guido. And then like a few years before that, he was goth. And I always loved that segment. It was so funny. (coughs) That show was pretty good. 
It really was. It, you know what I loved about it is you got a lot of comedians on there that you don't always get to see on TV. Yeah. I only watched Which is always like, great. Dependent Who Was On It. You only what? I only watched it like Dependent Who Was On. Yeah, depending on the guest. Yeah, yeah, like, absolutely. yeah like, there were some times I was like, all right, I don't give a shit about any of these people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ron Funches the 12th time? Yeah, I'm going to watch that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Ron Funches is always good. He's... Well, he punches things. So. Yeah, punch, punches, punches. Maybe punches <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> um, I I do have. If we're still on comments, I have. One. Yeah. Uh, unidentified physician says, uh, "This is a quote." RLF sounds like the internet threw up. Seich, episode three fifty four. <laughs> All right. What? Yeah, I mean, I like that. <laughs> when? Uh, oh, yeah. Was that last? <laughs> was that did? What that was last? Oh, I said that last <laughs> week. Last <laughs> week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saiji. <laughs> How long ago was that? <laughs> what uh, seven days? Uh, what's happening? Three fifty four. Oh, well, well, oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. It's been a week, man. Yeah. You know, it's been a, it's been a long week. Yeah. Rough week. Has it? Yeah. You know. How have you guys been faring? Uh, you know. Just going to work. Pooping here, pooping there. Well, mainly just pooping, pooping everywhere. Here. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I'm pooping you here, live in that... pooping there. I poop wherever the fuck I want. Mm. You live in that no toilet paper life, so I got I don't know. We got it. Site show backed us up, and we got our bidet. Oh, that bidet, oh. man. So we're all good nah, on that nah. front. Okay. No, we're not so all you stop shitting in the we woods? Are. All right. Well, th- <laughs> Sites thinks we're not okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're fine. Sage, would you like to expand on that? No, no. Cool. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. No, the uh, saying we're not okay if we run out of toilet paper. Well, yeah. But no, then we'll just I don't, use oh, we'll get I don't want to okay. use that bidet. Oh, boy. I don't want to use it. Don't make oh, me boy. use it. It's, I'm not it's gonna make 90s it. dad Sage. <laughs> I use that bidet. It's gay. <laughs> yeah, I don't need no nothing needs to touch my butthole but a soft paper towel. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't say it was gay. I just don't like because I'm an American. I don't my butthole being all wet. <laughs> yeah, then you dry it. Mm-hmm. All right, that I can understand. You know what they should have? With what? Oh man, a bidet. But, uh, no, a bidet, and then like the nozzle like below it, they have a little dryer, so you could like do it, and then oh, you an can air dryer. Yeah, just a little like, and then they, they just, gotta, just, just a little have. wind on your butt. Oh man, now you're talking. Right, then dude? you can give your give your booty hole a blowout. Yeah, so you can fucking gel like, up the air. Do the shit, you know, do whatever. <laughs> You'd have like a, a button where it's just like. <laughs> 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 There's so much emotion on on Matt's face with that joke. <laughs> this is a weird RLF man. <laughs> This is an odd one. <laughs> Matt, your face went on a roller coaster ride after I said that. I was, I was considering it, and then I was like, wait, why am I thinking about this in depth? What, how good that invention would be? And then Sides said, gel it up. <laughs> Which I'm assuming was in reference to gelling up your now primped booty hair. <laughs> wait, wait, what, what did I, I didn't say gel it up. Oh, I thought you did. did yeah, we both thought you, say? you did. did. When did I say gel it? You did. said dry it off. Yeah, maybe. Um, did I? Yeah, you had the drying section of your bidet. Yeah. And then... I don't know why I would have said gel it up. Maybe I said gel it up? I don't know. I, think I, I thought said someone it said it. Let us know in the comments if I'm <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah. Or left. I think I said it. Doesn't but matter. I might have Keep said in it. mind, we're hearing every third word. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Should I scream? So, that's how we like to do things no. now. So that's not the problem. <laughs> what? Um, do you guys have any other comments? Uh, all right. So apparently, you talked some shit about uh, Mad World, Nikolai. Oh yeah, I did. Oh boy, <laughs> I saw this comment. Well, Peter Boots Fall Bear yes. says, uh, "Nikolai, how dare you? The original Mad World is a bop." I don't know what that means. I, I feel as if that's like saying it's a, Great time. a hit. It's a British term for a hit, maybe. Uh, the whole point is that the lyrics don't match the music. It's called lyrical dissonance. 
which Fierce, I was Fierce did that in a bunch of their songs. Most notably, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. But to each their own, yep. I guess. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I was unaware of that. What's it called? Musical Dissonance. Mu- I was unaware of what Musical Dissonance is. And then I was educated um, by the person who left this comment. I can't remember that name already. Peter Boots Falbert. Oh, Peter. Ah, uh, Peter. Peter Boots. My, my middle I'm sorry name is I shat on your bop, but... <laughs> <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> shot on the bop, Nikolai. I did. You never want to shout on a bop. <laughs> no, because then you don't have a bidet. So yeah, it's true. Because then, you, then well, well, you could have a bidet, you but you wouldn't have, have a, a dry, bidet. Yeah. dry one. So yeah. Then you're walking around Future. with a wet asshole, oh. and everyone knows it. <laughs> oh, or silly. semi-dry and primped. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I also like this one. Uh, passionate lobster asks, "Excuse me, but did Sites just say he went to the gay grocery store?" I don't think <laughs> he did. Did you say that last week, Sites? Don't ask me. Obviously, I don't remember what I said last week. Pretty sure you did. Yeah, <laughs> gel it up, buddy. <laughs> what would make gel a grocery up. store gay? <laughs> yeah, when all of it? our bread is the same gender and fucks each other. <laughs> wow. Oh my god! Just they're the all bread, the same. Though. It's just the bread. Oh, let me tell you something. Real or quick. everybody who works there is LGBTQ. Okay. Dude, speak. But you can't hire that way, though. What? You can't hire based upon that. Because uh, you can't ask that yeah, during the interview. Because you can't do... It's, that'd be discrimination. You can't ask it, but you can, you know. Sight you, boy. It's just sight in the back, <laughs> like, working the stock room. Like, hey, what's up? <laughs> like, you've just yeah, got all these... allowed to ask. <laughs> you just got all these loud people. And like great big personalities, not that you know, and then Which it's not just big about little... my personality. Yeah, do they hat wait? Do they <laughs> exactly? <laughs> exactly. What do you mean? I just would love that. I uh, <laughs> I brighten up the room when I walk in, so so it's like Ruby Tuesdays, they gotta act like welcome. <laughs> what? 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 No, they're what? just maybe like themselves. where they give a service in, in a funeral home, like maybe you would brighten up that room. <laughs> oh, hey. that that hey. man in the beanie. It was so comforting. <laughs> yeah. he, wow. He really made me feel at home. <laughs> He'd brighten up most grief counseling meetings, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> most. Well, that guy seems cool. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely not all. Yeah, there are a few. You're right. Like, what is the fucking point? Let's get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> this guy knows, am I right? <laughs> What a big personality. <laughs> so it sounded as if you uh, had prepared something for us earlier. Oh, uh, well, it was for the. Uh, that place where we live. Yeah, it was. Uh, oh, it was, you're it, talking about a segment that would go on uh, something called like, like large mm-hmm. urban life or I, I just can't think of a name for it. Yeah. Well, I mean, big city live <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought Matt was going to throw up he hit that one Damn. so hard. Damn, that was hard. <laughs> hit it! Hit it! <laughs> <laughs> I held the mic arm when I did that. <laughs> you did, you really did. <laughs> I went hard. I mean, you feel like a rock star, didn't it? It really, for a minute, I was like, am I James Hetfield? <laughs> <laughs> it's happening. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, man. So, how's Big City living, fellas? Well, yeah. It's all right. Yeah, it's that all right. was Big City living. Wow. It gets shorter every week. Big. Nah, dude. So. <laughs> <It's big>. <laughs> uh. <laughs> just finished since you know can't really go out do much i go to work come home do nothing yeah right. finish, finish, way different finished off that uh was it was it the, the red dead the, redemption the, 2 no the that documentary oh uh the lion tiger king? King. tiger king tiger king tiger king saichi boy has watched i have watched you tiger finished king it. i have finished tiger king now you have as well yeah dude now, I assume that Al and Matt have not watched it. No, I've heard. What led it, you to that belief? 
What was that, Al? No, I have not seen it. Dude, I've heard of what it. Did I've you... heard of it. I know what it's about. Of course. It's all that crazy. No, I know. It's the craziest shit ever. One of the greatest documentaries I've ever seen, ever. It's the craziest, most... It's Florida in a can, and and that can became a documentary. Oh, like wow. it, it's it's amazing. It's oh god, I cannot recommend. It's the greatest way to spend seven hours of your quarantine life. Jesus is learning about these big cat people, oh, and the god. best part about it is that they're all awful. Like everybody's terrible. Yeah, anybody who picks sides is wrong. Because what you don't see is that it's all wrong. That it's all bad. Like, that none of them are okay. From Carol Baskin, who clearly killed her husband. Murderer. To Joe Exotic, who... Was crazy. It was just a nutbag. And a far better singer than he is an animal. Oh, owner. no, that, that's like, not really him. It's not really him. No way. What? Is. There's no way it's him. You don't think that's him singing? In, like, the music who? videos? Not a ch- Who's singing those songs? Not then? a chance. Yeah, not a chance. There is not a His chance. His voice was way too light and airy for really those deep tones. Then yeah. who was singing the he songs? Stole someone's voice. Some other band, and then he My just God. sang over it live sometimes at like barbecues, probably. <laughs> All right, I gotta <laughs> load up this disc player while I sing. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, <laughs> buds. It's like bud songs. Yeah, it's bud songs. <laughs> Nobody pay attention to the jukebox behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> I just want everyone to know that the uh, sounds you're about to hear come totally from my mouth. <laughs> Ooh. You can tell because it's moving. Yay. While the sound is happening. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes <laughs> it. <laughs> oh, the title of this episode should be Hit It, Hit It. Hit It, Hit It. <laughs> um, you ever watch a car- bunch of cartoons, too? Which ones? Yeah, but which like, which cartoons? Uh, X Men. Oh right, nineties X Men. Nineties Spider Man cartoon. Ooh. Then I watched some. Did you finish Demon. Castlevania yet? Yeah, dude. Well, no, Boom. no, I didn't finish uh, season three. I didn't start season. Three. Oh, <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> season three is the best. I, I, it's so crazy to me. I forgot about it because I've been I've started. Uh, Going through Mandalorian finally. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like Mandalorian's great. Yeah. Like shit's getting nuts. All right. Season three of Castlevania. It's so crazy to me because usually, like, this is big anime season right now. Like the heavy hitters are up and in play. My Hero Academia is running and shit. The best anime running right now is this Castlevania series on Netflix. Yeah. Oh my god, it's fucking great. It's brutal and violent, and the story's great. Who's the Goku? Oh my god. Uh, there's. Uh, I don't think there is a Goku necessarily. Oh, all right. it doesn't sound that good. <laughs> there's kind of like there's kind of like three main characters. I guess out of them, the main character would be Trevor Belmont, so okay. he'd be the Goku. Yeah, Ricky Belmont. It's me, Ricky. Good old Ricky Belmont. Here I come with my bottles. And then, and then Dracula's kid would definitely be Vegeta. <laughs> I guess. Oh, Dracula's kid? Oh, cat yeah, girl. Dracula's kid. So the first yeah, banged two out seasons... Some lady, popped a kid out. <laughs> first oh. two seasons are about uh, uh, Dracula and, and his son and these monster hunters fighting him. Okay. Uh, and then the third season is like the story after Dracula and it's fucking great. Oh, I spoilers, but... Uh, I recommend everybody whoa. check it out. Yeah, dude, wow. Now, is there any like familiar voices on it that I would recognize? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Bill Nighy. The science guy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> the science guy? That joke got me good. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I, no. was, uh, <laughs> no. I was just so angry for a moment. I was like, you pay respect to Bill Nye. I love Bill Nye. I like that joke so much. Uh. <laughs> it's like the best dad joke ever. <laughs> the science guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I'm embarrassed that I'm the one who laughed the hardest at it, too. <laughs> oh, you should be. So I was oh. laughing. I Good. Was laughing. <laughs> anyway, Good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's such a great actor. Yeah, so oh, he's good. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, Underworld, yeah. Pirate Radio. Underworld 2. Uh, Love Actually. <laughs> Love Underworld 3. <laughs> that one's actually a good movie. I like Underworld Wait, Was 3. that the Rise of the Lycan? I don't know that they all missed. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it was. I think I remember Like that. the prequel one? That shit was the best one. Are you kidding me? Yes, it was. Yeah. Number one and number three are very good. Yeah, number dude. three is the best one, though. Oof. Yeah, dude. Uh, not a lot of other big name actors besides Bill Nighy, Richard Armitage, mm-hmm. and uh, Peter Stormare. Oh, okay. Oh, Stormare. Yeah, I totally knew. Oh, who's... Stormboy. Captain Stormare is. Yeah, that guy. I didn't hear the first name. Oh, yeah. the Russian guy. He yeah, the plays guy... a Russian. Yeah, Jack, he's the Russian Jack guy Hopper. from Armageddon. And and Jack the Hopper. Russian guy from John Wick. Yep, and he's also a Russian guy in uh, Bad Boys. Bad Boys. <laughs> Dead Boys 2 or yeah, two. yeah but it was 2 yeah yeah I'm a fucking Grim Reaper <laughs> yes that guy yeah <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he was in um last year it came out American Gods is that also Russian <laughs> yeah he definitely is a Russian he's, <laughs> he's just a Russian actor. might be a Russian guy <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Unless he's gotten like really unluckily typecast. Could you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> they were like, you played it so good in Armageddon. Just do that for the rest of your career. The whole thing. And he's like, duh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He's great. <clears throat> I had heard an interview that um, Alan Tudyk had done. And he was, you know, that um, Steve the Pirate. Oh, yeah. And he's in um, Serenity or Wash. Firefly. Um,. <clears throat> but I had heard when he did the Nerdist a couple of years ago and he was talking about how after he'd done the Steve the Pirate role in Dodgeball, he got offered all of these comedies to play like oddball best friend characters. And he was like he's he described it as like staring down the barrel of like a uh, a character actor gun basically. He's uh. like I can do this, but then I'm just gonna be this guy. Like forever, right. so he's like I, that's why I purposely never have been in another comedy since, uh-huh. really. Or he's like, and then I've done all these other weird roles because if you look at his career, he does do a lot of like different stuff. Mm-hmm. So, which is pretty cool. Keep it. Fresh. I, uh, I'm trying to yeah, think dude. like who's the best example of someone who avoided getting typecast. <clears throat> Oh, I mean, Daniel Day-Lewis, I guess. Who avoided it, I guess. So who is at risk of being typecast? Like The first thing that comes to mind is Chris Pratt. Yeah, he could have been the idiot, like, lovable idiot guy. And then he lost all that weight, became a front man. Yeah, and then he's like, I'm in Jurassic World, motherfuckers. Paul Rudd. Watch me with these dinosaurs. Ooh, Paul Rudd's a good answer. Because after Anchorman, if Paul Rudd had just been in comedies forever... He'd been like, yeah, all right. Because <laughs> <laughs> think about Anchorman. That was 2006. He was the guy from Clueless. Still. like, Never seen Clueless. Yeah, it's not for you. <laughs> what, do you what do you mean? What's not for him about that? The whole thing. I don't know. The part where they're Clue and Less. I don't even think you'd... <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I don't even think you'd be really like overly attracted to the women in the movie. Because, like, there's always the guy thing you can say, like, well, all right, so the movie's not for you, but so-and-so, whoever's in it, is super hot. So at least there's that. Like, I don't even think that you'd be really, like, blown away by Alicia Silverstone. Nah. Like, like, she or she, you now. She's got kind of that weird face. <laughs> she's got that weird lip thing but going on. But she's Batgirl, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, she was. Is she dressed up like that girl in the movie. No, she, Damn, that's weird. Yeah, yeah weird. <laughs> <laughs> that was in the TV show, actually. Uh-huh. Really common misconception. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she was Batgirl in the best Batman movie ever. Oh, I think I'd rather watch Batman. The, I'd rather watch The Dark Knight Rises. Just no, no. <laughs> you really don't like that movie I really hate The Dark Knight Rises But specifically I just hate Tom Hardy's voice In that movie I really do Why? I Oh god It's just Do you feel in charge? 
I do when you sound like that. I don't know, man. I really did like that scene. I, That's the one of the few. I, I get where you're coming from with Bane. Yeah. Yeah, but that scene in particular is one of those few scenes where, to me, I was like, "Okay, that would be cool if he didn't like." Like even with that stupid voice, the fact that all he had to do to threaten somebody was not throw a chair across a room or pick him up by the throat, just gently placed his hand open on his shoulder. Yeah, and he was like, "Do you feel in charge?" And the guy just turned like wet his pants. Like, I, I felt like that was just. I felt like that was a very good scene yeah. that was thrown under the bus because of that voice choice. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> voice choice. Absolutely. Voice choice. Voice choice. But that movie did have a lot of problems. Oh, I mean, yeah, it did. It was way too big. <laughs> We're going to wait like 45 minutes for him to be Batman. And then he's going to be Batman. For five minutes. And then... And then you're going to wait 45 minutes <laughs> for, for him to be Batman again. And he's going to be Batman for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going to be over. It's going to be gonna... over and you're going to be thanking God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that movie is not great. Man. Um. All right. Was that all you guys wanted to tell us for Big City Living? Um, yeah, I mean, I, not really anything cartoons else. Cartoons and staying in. Staying in. And Sir Bislo in a Superman costume. That's yeah, true. Is that? Smelling like hot ass. We've been uh, playing Seven Days to Die. Ooh, uh, together. Yeah. Without Matt. Wow. Hmm. Playing it on the PC or the Xbox? Xbox. I don't fucking know. Oh, PC. Uh, he he plays the wow. plays Andrew. Spitting in your face there, Matty. Oh, he plays with Andrew, too. I uh, know. Just <laughs> yeah, Andrew. Yeah, no, just, I, yeah, just I, I sleep. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> in between streams, you're just sleeping? Yeah, I wake up, stream. Power naps. Go back to sleep. For <laughs> Al, Al's going to come out of this. Al's going to come out of his apartment in, like, sometime in July. And he's gonna be like, I heard something about a quarantine. What was everyone? T- <laughs> what was everyone talking about? I've been hibernating for months. I do this all the time. Yeah. Look at my beard. It's very warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um. All right. Well, yeah. did you guys have anything else? Uh, no. It's. Uh, I watched uh, Alice in Wonderland. Oh. That was all it was. Uh, that's, 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 that's all I, I watched. I'm like, that's all I got. I gave no, you, so yeah, giving you everything. That was both the beginning and end of the conversation. <laughs> the Alpha and Omega. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know if it was good. <laughs> how you felt about it. The Tim Burton one? No, the original, the cartoon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, oh, all right. <laughs> that was my way of saying, why'd you do that? <laughs> I, all, all we heard was silence and then both of you hysterically laughing. <laughs> we were so confused. No idea. Do you know what happened now? <laughs> you no, wonder why I watched it. Cut out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, basically. Yeah. Why, why not? All right. I mean, <laughs> why not? There's just so much more. There's so many other things. While well, I was watch. going through, I uh, would dip- alphabetically. Nope. <laughs> 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 I was going through, and I was, I was like, I was gonna do Peter Pan. I, I was gonna do Three Musketeers. That was the first choice. Ooh, all right. Mm-hmm. Which one? Yeah, that's right. The uh, Charlie Sheen. Kiefer Sutherland, like the, the good one, the good D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. I, I I didn't know if you were a big fan of the 2011 remake with uh, Orlando Bloom and the Sky Boats. Static X. No. <laughs> no, we don't talk about that. Have you ever seen it? No, no, it's I didn't so see it. I never will. It's so bad. Uh, it does not surprise. You said Orlando Bloom. Oh, How dare he's, you? He's oh, no Turner. Right. Legolas. 
Uh, wh- okay. Will Turner? The guy had one good movie. Yeah, but uh, he's not a bad actor. He's Will Turner. What did one bad movie? Is that in Star Trek? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh. But, what? <laughs> <laughs> but, where, where do you live, Al? What planet do you live on? Star Trek? Star Trek? No, you, you watch you Star watch Trek. You watch Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Why have I never heard Will Turner? Hmm. Did you have Star Trek? <laughs> the one show I watch. Yeah, probably. Like, oh my god. Uh, Stargate. Uh, uh, That's true. Are we gonna are we gonna sit here and we're gonna we're all gonna we're all gonna say the Pirates of the Caribbean movies were good? Um first the one. first one, yeah. And maybe the second. I'll give the second one a watch. No, no. I like the first one and the third one had that great cold open with low, like the people no. hanging getting wasn't hung the third, and stuff. Wasn't the third one I don't know. It was Curse of the Black Pearl. Yeah. And then Banging it moves. was the money Banging grab, movie. the money grab two, and then a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the third one David Jones? No, that was two. Or was I that thought. the second one? Well, there's one with a tentacle, and then at the end they climb up the tentacle. I like the one with Johnny Depp in it. They were not memorable and not great. <gasps> They're all basically the same movie after yeah. the first one, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh man, just gives you me can't tell me that that, that that music doesn't give you get you jacked up. It doesn't get you like Star Wars jacked up. Still nah, gets you jacked that up. That music is good, but it makes you want to do pirate shit. Yeah, yeah. I want a sword fight and swashbuckle with while some swabbing oranges. the poop deck. <laughs> yeah, that, that's it. That's all you want to do. Just eat some oranges. I guess I'll have dinner. It did give us the best pirate I've ever seen meme. Okay. So I will take that because I do is, like that meme format. Which, what? Which oh, one? it's it's just it's the two British captains standing looking out over the horizon. One looks at the other, and goes, "It's got to be the best pirate I've ever seen." And the other one's like, "So it would seem." As the music's building, and then it's just a smash cut to the something that's not in the middle, like a car drifting and flipping at the same time. Uh, okay, <laughs> as it's drifting. Like, got it. Like, okay. Like, or someone ro- waterboarding in a bouncy castle, like <laughs> kayaking in a bouncy castle. Oh, the like internet. Waterboarding in a castle. <laughs> waterboarding in a castle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's getting real torturous. Tell me about there. your organization. <laughs> Give me names. Pirates bounce, the bounce. Yeah, we Take your <laughs> shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, waterboarding in a bounce castle is what you have to resort to when you're just really not willing to use guns. And that Of course, is. we're not willing to use guns, especially around a bouncy castle. Yeah, you're pop it. Yeah, jeez. It's true. That, would, <laughs> that was pretty silly of you me. Ruin Plus, everyone's our rule. Fun. What's our rule? Our rule that if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. Oh. Hannah! Had it! <laughs> <laughs> Exit <Exilina. laughs>